What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, you know the vibes, man. We back on another video. This build right here, man, I've been having too much fun with this build. And, and I've not been sleeping on the MG5 with fast hands, but man, I, I, once you start using it, 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 it's crazy how addictive it could be. Just, you don't realize how much DPS you're outputting just based on just read something so small as reload speed, right? So if you got a mag such as this size, 100 bullets doing this much damage, this much crit, and with the RPM as high as it is on this build, man, you're going to shred. You're going to shred. You're going to fry. It's going to make your, doing your mission so much more fun than it is right now. So, you know, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, 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 man. You're going to love this build. Um, comment down below if you would change anything up with this build or, you know, you would do it any differently. Just let me know down below, man. I appreciate all you guys, you know, just for rocking with me. And um, I'll catch you guys at the end for the description of the video. All right, guys? Peace. This one gotta be fast hands with gunner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching that gameplay. Let's get into the build. Not gonna waste your time. I am running gunner. Gunner, gunner, gunner. Some of you are saying, why? Why run gunner? Well, when you run gunner, you get a pouch. A large pouch that gives you 50 rounds. Now, if you're going to use the infantry MG5 like myself, you want to have 100 rounds. And if you don't and you have the other pouch, you will have 85 bullets instead of 100. Now, if you want to get the max stats off of uh, max stacks off of fast hands, which gives you uh, critical hits as a stack of 4% reload speed, uh, the max stack is 40. So. This is the reason why the title says one second reload speed because equipping gunner as well on the third reload your reload is 50 percent faster on every third reload so just imagine you're stacking all the time you're reloading and then when you get a max stack along with the 50 percent uh reload speed on the third reload that automatically drops you to less than a second reload so i'm telling you guys you guys are gonna love this build now, I'm running the Bullet King, of course, as a secondary, just in case, you know, uh, you got some heavies or something like that, you want to just lay into them, and, you know, you don't want to reload at all, the Bullet King is pretty nice, all right? So, and, and honestly, you guys can use this build in the raid. Definitely can use this build in the raid, and I, I'll get into why, right? I'll get into why. Now, on the mask, of course, I'm using the Coyote's mask, and I'm going to tell you why I'm using this mask is because... The pieces that I have on this gear do not come with a lot of crit as bonus, as uh, gear bonuses. So if you don't get, if you're using a set that doesn't come with gear bonuses, understand that as long as your crit chance is at 45%, this mass will do the rest of the work for you. So as long as you can get your crit up to 45% or more, the mask will do the rest of the job. All right. So make sure you keep that in mind. 
Now I'm running a Petrov chest for, for obvious reasons. One piece Petrov gives you LMG damage, 10%. I'm running an unbreakable chest that came with crit damage, crit chance, of course. So I, I maxed out the crit damage. Um, and that's how you want to run it with a Petrov chest. Or, you know, if you want to switch it around, it's up to you. I'm running three piece striker and that gives you 15% weapon handling which is good for LMGs as well as 15% rate of fire. So if you didn't pay attention to my rate of fire and I rolled crit damage onto the holster. If you didn't pay attention to my crit, my rate of fire, the RPM is 920 on an infantry MG5, 920. The base RPM on this gun is 800. So. 920 is ridiculous man i'm telling you it's ridiculous it hits and i have a crit chance mod on the chest as well as a crit chance mod on the mask let's get into the backpack weapon damage and crit damage with a crit damage mod this is how you want to set it up depending on where your build may lack because some of you guys might not have crit chance on your gun like i do so if you don't you might want to roll with one of these pieces to crit chance instead of crit damage like i did all right i got lucky and i got a gun that came with crit chance so all i have to do is roll fast hands you might get lucky and have a gun that already has fast hands on it and you can roll crit damage or crit chance onto the gun it's up to you all right and um on the gloves i'm running 12 percent crit hit damage and as you guys can see ideally you want to at least have your core attributes at around 15 percent weapon damage on all pieces so I don't have 15% weapon damage on every piece, but that's the goal. That's what you want to lean towards, all right? And on the knees, I'm running a group on knees because just from these knee pads alone, I am getting 27% crit hit damage, all right? As well as 5.2% crit chance and weapon damage. So these knees are very nice. This is as God rolls is going to get. Um, I'm just a few uh, percentages away, a few points away from having a God roll knee pads, all right? Now, I just want to talk about this, the skills real quick. So I'm running the Revive Hive. Don't need to go into that. We all know what that is. But the Banshee Pulse is slept on. It's slept on. It's slept on. Use it. Use it. Use it. All right? It works, especially when you get these NPCs that are roaming. They're, they're so aggressive sometimes. When you hit them with the Banshee Confuse, I'm telling you, it just sits them there, which is perfect for you to get your stacks because you want to max them stacks out to 40 right and because you have on gunner it's gonna come with a radius mod and effect duration mod so you're not gonna have to worry about oh i don't have no skill tier it's not gonna be as effective it's gonna work trust me and you're gonna like it so uh let's talk about the stats i have 48 percent crit hit chance and 146 crit hit damage so i'm telling you you don't need more than that the mass is gonna do the rest of the work and it'll do that damage that you're looking for and on the weapon damage, I have 92% all weapons damage, and I have 37% uh, LMG damage bonus. So we're over 100% weapon damage, right? So we're definitely we're definitely where we need to be. We're definitely hitting as hard as we possibly can. It can only go higher according to RNG and stats, right? So um, understand this: the reloads, the reload on an MG5 is five seconds. You're never gonna re it's never gonna take you five seconds to reload. It's always gonna be two seconds or less. Depending on how many stacks you get. Because if you're killing the NPCs quick, you're not maxing your stats out. Your stacks, of course, but you're still gonna be getting a fast reload regardless. But um I, I really like the way this build is put up put together. I like the way it came out. And um by having the exotic mask on, you're automatically gonna have 25% critical hit damage off the rip. So that 140 you saw is really actually 168 so you right around 170 with this build right and then if, if they're further away you're going to get another 10 percent crit hit chance and you're already at 40 something so if you do the math you'll be right at 60 all right so you don't you don't need to worry about the crit chance don't don't stress yourself out i would say anything right around 45 or more is perfect just leave it there don't try to get it to 60 you'll be just fine um try to get your crit damage as high as you can get it and i'm gonna showcase this build and uh, um and raid sometimes as well but um if you like the, if you like the video smash the thumbs up button if you're new to the channel subscribe subscribe tell me how you feel about the build tell me what you think about the build and if you didn't peep 
it does raise your Bullet King's RPM to 978. So that's almost a thousand RPM on the Bullet King as a secondary, which is very nice. All right, and if you don't want to use the Bullet King, the Pestilence is also a nice alternative because that 688 also feels good. I'm telling you, try it out. Tell me what you think. I promise you, you're gonna enjoy this build. It's it's probably the mo the most fun I've had with the build as of late. Like all the builds are boring right now, and um, until we get the full title update 10 experience, this is what I'm rocking until further notice. All right, guys. So it's your boy. You know the vibes, man. I'm out of here. Peace.